Hello everyone, this is Paul from Ortho Eval Pal. Today I want to talk about the difference between metatarsalgia and Morton's neuroma. Now I've done several videos of this in the past and I still get a lot of questions really with more specifics on what is the difference between the two of them, how do you treat it, and so today I thought I would tear them apart a little bit and, uh, and talk about them individually and what you should feel when you have that. Um, so let's start off with Morton's neuroma. Uh, when you take a look at the top of the foot here, uh, there are shafts of bones here that go up like this, and in between those bony shafts are nerves. These are called interdigital nerves. And Morton's neuroma occurs most often between the third and the fourth shaft over here. As you can see, I drew a little bump, and that's basically what happens is you develop this lump uh, on top of that nerve, and it takes up space between the shafts of those bones. And that can become very, very painful in this area. You can get it in other areas, but this is the most common. And what people will feel with this is a numbing or tingling type sensation in the third and fourth toes, especially when you squeeze that area. Why do people get this? Um, a lot of it is a too much pressure in the forefoot part of the foot, sometimes between, because of a tight calf or because they're wearing high heels and distributing a lot of pressure into this area, wearing shoes that are too tight can compress that region or wearing a shoe that's too wide can allow the feet to splay and then cause too much movement here. And therefore, the neuroma grows. And one of the ways to identify it is that you squeeze the foot this way and you'll feel a little click or hear a little click in there. And it almost sounds like a nail clicking like that. Um, and that can be a sign of a more neuroma. It can be very, very uncomfortable, very difficult to treat. But I do treat it like metatarsalgia. So how is metatarsalgia different? Metatarsalgia is pain on the joint from the shaft to the toe bone, and it's painful on that joint. Most common on the second and third. It can happen on any of them, uh, but most common between on two and on three. And it's right on the joint, it's not between the shafts, okay? Um, these people will have pain when bringing the toe back like this and with pushing in the joint. Some people will be tender on the top of the joint also, so you can put your fingers right above and below and have pain in that region. Uh, again, Patients will commonly complain of this feeling like there's something in their shoe, the sock is bunched up uh, in the forefoot part of the shoe or in the ball of the foot. They'll feel like there's a stick in the, in the shoe or in the sock and that gives you this irritating pressure. One of the problems is that as we get older and or we get a lot of tightness in the calf muscle, this arch that is supposed to be like this in the foot ends up becoming inverted, and then we start putting too much pressure in these little joints right here. They become very inflamed, very irritated, sometimes swollen in the joint, and they'll cause a lot of pain. So I'm a big advocate of stretching the calf out um, often, wearing an orthotic, making sure that you uh, don't spend a lot of time on really hard surfaces like linoleum or ceramic tile floors um, because that will cause a lot of irritation. So having a nice cushioned shoe or slipper can help absorb a little bit of shock. I do an orthotic and I like to take some pressure off of this spot by putting a piece just behind those metatarsals. Um, so that's kind of how I differentiate between the two of them. One is more a joint problem, the other one is a nerve problem, okay? If you have any questions about Morton Aroma and or metatarsalgia, just leave a message in the comment section of this video and I'll make sure that I get back to you. If you have any other uh, questions or want to get any more information in regards to online coaching or anything else that we do with Orthway Valpal, make sure that you check out the uh, links in the show notes and make sure you give us a thumbs up if you like this video. Thanks.